Hi everyone and welcome to episode 148 of Sarah Nova Crafts. I'm your host Jessica. I can be found as Sarah Nova on Ravelry and Twitter and as Sarah Nova Crafts on Instagram. So it's Sarah Nova on Ravelry and Twitter, Sarah Nova Crafts on Instagram. I think I said that right the first time around but I'm not sure. Um, so uh, uh, if uh, there, I'm gonna try to remember to do show notes for this episode. They're gonna be pretty pithy, but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna work on them. Um, and then um, yeah, I'm getting close to 150 episodes. Um, I know that I kind of took July off unintentionally, but you know it is what it is. Um, I'm trying to record earlier in the day today because we're having people over for D&D &D tonight, so we haven't played that in like two months, and um, we kind of left our characters in a bit of a bind that we need to deal with. So anyways, um, I have a foe for you guys, and then I'm going to talk about um, something I mentioned last time, and then I'm going to show you guys uh, uh, on two other things, and then I should be good. So this should be a pretty quick easy episode. Um, I have a, an alarm set for one o'clock, so if my phone goes off I apologize because um, I have to go do something at two, so I need time to get there. Anyways, starting with my foe, because I have a foe. Oh my god, I have a foe, right? So so last week I showed you my Hermione's Everyday Socks um, and how I had just turned the heel on the second sock and, well, now I have a finished pair. So that's always good. So I was here, this is my little marker, so I was here on sock number two when I showed you a week ago and then I knit all of this, I knit the entire thing. I finished this on Monday night? Monday night, I finished this Monday night, so two days ago. Um, you know, so I knit half a sock in four days, something like that. Um, but, so, but now I have the completed pair, so here you go. Um, I really like how the, the yarn worked out. The socks actually look really different for being the same skein, right? For being the same skein, they look kind of different like this one has more pink splotches on it and this one has less pink splotches I mean but it's hand dyed you know here here let me hold it up so you can actually see all of both socks right so see and then right so there there's a little more pink on one than on the other but that's okay it doesn't really bother me hi Zoe you pretty girl you good girl no okay she's just gonna look out the window um but I, you know again like I said it's indie yarn, it's hand dyed, it's hand speckled, so there's going to be some variation. I am not upset by that though. Um, this was a little bit out of my normal color thing for me because they're a little pinker, a little more girly, but you know, I'm still quite happy with them so it's nice to have something finished. It's nice to have something finished and to actually like say it's done and these are ends completely woven in. I don't block my socks because wearing kind of blocks them. So I don't block my socks, they're not blocked, but all the ends are woven in. Sorry, I have a pillow like propped up behind me and I keep having to adjust it. Ooh, I hit the table, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so these are done, 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 which is very nice to have them done. So um, to talk about what I was, so to reference back to last episode, when I talked about, when I showed this book um, and how I was going to um, pick patterns out of it to make a, 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 to make a blanket, so I chose my motifs. I chose three motifs. So these are going to be side panels. I'm going to try not to show the stitches, like the stitch chart. But so that's going to be one uh, panel. I'm doing this much of it, right? So I'm doing one, doing one pattern repeat of that, and then um, I'm doing I'm doing this one. Right, so I'm, and I'm just doing one pattern repeat there. And then, so those are the sides. So it's the outside, like outer border, inner border. And then this one is going to be the center motif. I'm doing three repeats of this across. Um, and then it's back to, back to this one, right? And then it's uh, back to that first one again. So back to this one um, for the final edge. So I'm basically doing motif A, motif B, motif C, motif B, motif A, right? So it's, it's going to be a mirror, it's going to be mirrored. Uh, and that's what I decided to do. Um, I have, if I started, I've done four, I've done six rows of the pattern. So I did, I did a um, Irish moss, American moss, I did that like moss stitch. It's not seed stitch, where seed stitch is 
uh, knit purl, knit purl, and then it's purl knit, purl knit, right? You alternate. But this one is, you know, uh, two rows of one by one ribbing, basically. So it's two rows of knit one, purl one, and then you do two rows of purl one, knit one, so that they're opposite. So you can see it worked out into this mossy kind of stitch, which, because it's green, I figure, and I'm doing an eight stitch border, eight stitch uh, edge on the very edge. So I'll have eight stitches, you know, motif one, motif two, the, um, the center here, and then motif two, motif one, eight stitches, right? So you, you can't really see the patterns yet because I'm still basically in the setup of the, I'm basically still in the setup of the charts, but I've made progress on it. And um, hopefully, you know, it's gonna be like a, a, a it's not gonna be huge. It's, it's not quite four feet across, it's like three and a half or three. Because it's 36, this is a 40 inch needle. So it's about 40, 42 inches, because it's a little wider than the needle, it's a little scrunched right now. Um, but, uh, uh, but yeah, it's gonna be like a, a good blanket for my friend to use in like, you know, the baby carrier and the car and the stroller, something like that. Um, so then um, I started something um, because I finished the socks and I wanted a, an easy purse project. Um, I started another one of those like eight hour shawls. I think I showed this off last time. I did and I've done like no work on it. I've done like three. I did show it off last time because it's got a marker in it. Um, but I've done like a third of a row. I've done like an eighth of a row. I've done like that much. I've done like that that right so I'm not even gonna bother but I showed you guys that last time so I'm not gonna bother showing it to you again now that I remember that I showed it because it has a marker in it and lastly if you guys remember I started working on a little shawl design so I did about a half dozen of these little shawls trying different edges trying different stitch counts uh, trying different repeats and styles and decreases and stuff and uh, I did about a half dozen of these little ones using just some cheapo acrylic I got from you know the big box store and I decided that I finally figured out my final numbers, how, how I want everything. And, um, and now I've actually started on the actual, like, actual shawl. Um, and that one is um, 100 Ravens Gave Me Some Yarn. Um, it is their Vanier base, which is 231 yards to 100 grams. So it's a heavy DK. Um, and it's 100% merino. It's a four ply says use US 4 to 6. I'm using a US 8 for the shawl and it is super wash which is nice. Um, that's, their, that's their email. It's just 100ravens.com if you're interested. So I'm using the colorways Vampire and Barbary Coast. So this is Vampire. It's like a red. It's like a mottled red. It's got some dark purples and some dark black spots in there. And then this is Barbary Coast. So it's purple. So I'm doing red and purple basically. Um, good vampire, good fall Halloween-y colors. So I started it, um, I haven't gotten terribly far because, you know, I did two dozen of those little yellow ones just to get my numbers right. But this is where I'm at so far. So what it's going to be is, is that all of the garter stitch sections are going to be in vampire here. And then all of the eyelet sections are going to be in the purple Barbary Coast. And I have one skein of vampire and two skeins of Barbary Coast. Because I haven't, uh, I haven't yet uh, uh, balled up the second skein of Barbary Coast, but um, I figure three should actually be enough because the eyelet sections get wider as you go. As you can see, this eyelet section here is only two repeats. This one's three repeats. Next one's going to be four repeats, five repeats, etc., etc., et cetera, all the way down. But the garter sections stay the same, so that should be that. Um, anything else? Not that I can think of at the moment. Um, I'm still working on that test knit that I can't show you, so I didn't even bother bringing it over here because there's no point, it's blue socks. That's it. Um, and uh, yeah, I have a Discord server, so if you want to come join the Discord server, feel free. I would appreciate having you. Um, I just leave Discord running on my computer all the time. It's on my phone, so feel free. Um, you can PM me on there and all that jazz. Um, but, you know, if you guys want to like, subscribe, comment on YouTube, I very much appreciate it. I like talking to the people who watch these videos. So if you want to leave me a comment, ask me a question, feel free. Um, show notes are posted on Ravelry and on my blog. Um, the links are below if you are on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to say thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you next week. All right, have a good one. Bye!